evening everyone and good afternoon everyone. Are you guys ready for the art session today? Who is live? Come on. There's one up there. Yay, two. Say hello to me so that I know who you guys are. We have become a family now, so you can identify yourselves. Four. All right, we will get rocking. And today's session, the wholesome session number five, wholesome Wednesday, session number five is about folk art. And folk art is from Bihar and I have got a very special person, Mrs. Anamika Kishore, who is going to show you all a live demonstration and gives the in and out of the folk art called Madhubani. Okay, before going ahead with that, let me just tell you all what my sari is all about. This sari was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. It's a plain Georgian sari. But today's theme is painting, so I just had to get something pertaining to painting. Unfortunately, I don't have a Madhubani uh, painting sari, so I had to match something which was a general painting. And this is beautifully done, and it's an acrylic painting done on a Georgette sari with acrylic paints. And obviously, it's green and it's matched with shades of pink floral um, painting and this is what the sari is all about and this is the pallu. Pallu is neatly done as well and I'll just turn around hope you can see me and these blotters of painting the floral painting is across the sari and I'll post it tonight so that you can have a good view of the sari and I have paired it with a uh, resin and crystal and with chain with a crystal um, a bracelet and a matching um, earring to go with that this and this goes and just a little spiel about this chain actually my son gave it to me for Mother's Day when he was probably around 10 years old um, there used to be an exhibition in the school and uh, the kids were encouraged to go and grab a gift for like you know especially for Mother's Day and Father's Day so he just got this for me and so sweet of that for of him so I have just matched it to go with the floral uh, pink shade which is being painted on the sari okay finishing off with that let me just say about a little bit about Anamika Anamika Kishore hails from Sydney, but she is from Bihar. She's been settled in Sydney for a long period of time. And she's been a folk artist. And she's very well known in the New South Wales Art Gallery, as well as ICE, which stands for Information and Cultural Exchange um, Unit. And these two organizations promote culture uh, amongst the communities. And at the same time, she's been um, holding exhibitions of her Madhubani painting every now and then in these art uh, gallery as well as ICE. And also she has won awards um, from the Refugee Exhibition as well as Cumberland Shire. Shire is basically nothing but um, like a suburb. Say, for example, if you're in Bangalore, an example would be like, you know, um, the jurisdiction like you know maybe Jayanagar, Gandhi Bazaar, Chamrajpur and all might come in one area so similar to that we have one called Cumberland Shire so she is um, very well known in the community sector of Cumberland as um, well as um, the other community hubs and she's going to talk about Madhubani painting as you know Madhubani painting um, originated in Bihar and as soon as you say Bihar, the first thing which comes to your mind is basically three things. One is Madhubani uh, painting, which is a folk art of uh, Mithila region. And number two is, we are sari people, right? So you have to give prominence to Bhagalpuri sari. Bhagalpuri sari comes from Bihar. And number three, 
three would be the Bodh Gaya. You know what? I have been to Bodh Gaya uh, probably 2017. Yeah, it was in 2017. I did visit Bodh Gaya, beautiful place in Bihar. It's beautiful. That's where Buddha got the enlightenment. All right. And um, uh, what else can I say about uh, Bihar? Um, Mithila painting is famous and there are three cultural regions um, in Bihar, which is uh, Magad, Mithila and um, what's the other one? Um, Bhagalpuri. So I will pass on to um, Anamika to take over. She's going to give you the in and out of Madhubani painting and how it started, uh, how it evaluated and what its form now is. And I'll be adding her. We did trial yesterday and I'm sure that this is going to work. Um, let me just add her in just a second. Have sent the invite. And while we are waiting for um, Anamika to come, I just wanted to let you all know that um, quite a few of the group members are missing out on their birthday announcements, which I would like to continue. So if you know you are a friend of them, please feel free to post a birthday wish on the Sari Gallery page because I won't come to know until and unless I'm a friend of them, which I don't until and unless they send a friend request. Quite a few of them have sent me friend requests. That's absolutely fine. But it would be good if you or their friends, whoever is associated with them, if you know that their birthday is coming up, that would be great. You can just add a birthday post. You need not add, take any permission from me. All right. Excellent. So while we are waiting, um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Are you able to, Anamika? Adding. It's good. Connecting. Yay! Yeah. Hello. Hello, Emaji. Good evening. Finally, I'm Excellent. here. Okay. I'll pass you on. Um, you know what? Um, the reverse is happening because my screen is bigger than yours and your screen is small. Yeah. I'm not sure how how the viewers are seeing. Um, viewers, can you help me? Which screen is big? Is Anamika's screen big or mine big? Ladies. Yeah, I think it's Hello. fine. Oh, no, no, the thing is that I don't know how they see it. Um, let me just check. Yes, friends, just uh, response on there that whether you are getting my picture big or small. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing at the moment. Yeah, they I'm are saying sure. Anamika's screen is small. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Okay, that's what they're saying. Anamika's screen is small. Anamika is getting behind the comments. Okay. So what I'll do, it doesn't look like it's going to work, Anamika. So I'll yeah. finish this off and you start again. Okay? I don't okay, know I will be live on time. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay? Okay, I will All right. that. Sorry Thank for you. that. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello, ladies. Just stay on. We will reconnect. Okay? Thank you. Hi, everyone. I think you can see me now, isn't it? Hello, can you, uh, can anyone please reply that whether you can see or not? 
कैन यू सी मी इज माई स्क्रीन विजिबल टू एनी वन ओके बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई जस्ट वॉन्ट गिव यू अ स्मॉल विजिट ऑफ अ गैलरी इन माई हाउस इन सारी गैलरी ये सो आई कैन शो यू सम ऑफ माई पेंटिंग सो बिकॉज वेन आई विल शो यू देन आई कैन टॉक बेटर देन वट इज मधुबनी आर्ट और वट इज मिथिला पेंटिंग सो दिस इज वन ऑफ माई पेंटिंग आई विल टॉक लेटर अबाउट दिस this is another this is known as it's a branch of tree life tree of life and in this picture i had just painted my family this is some of my precious sari my own creation and this sari i always love to talk this shows a beautiful story of cultural cohesion the fabric is kanjipuram and the style of painting you can see this is madhubani so it represents two culture in one time south indian fabric and north indian art form this one according to city life i just created on my t-shirt here you can see a small kurta a long kurta again this is madhubani art on kasavu one of my dear friend had just gifted me this kasavu but you know an insect inside this madhubani artist i just wanted to make something but at the same time i don't want to lose the beauty of this kasavu so i just made a little painting and yeah here you can see some like uh, sometime even my husband said that it's his biggest nightmare that i will not leave a, a single inch of my house plain i will make everywhere i will create something with madhubani art so these all are my beautiful small creations and now uh, i will talk later about this that these uh, paintings are part of uh, lots of exhibitions here this is i'm just working it's not finished yet but it's a big painting and it is based on village theme and this one also you can see that it is not complete yet i'm just working on this yeah just a moment i'm just turning my camera now so i hope you have seen uh, this now i will uh, take a seat and then i will talk more about this so thank you very much everyone i can see your comments hi manjuri hi monica hi purnima ji hi shambhavi yeah you always say that bhabhi you are the best but i don't believe that there is lots of uh, scope i can improve myself a little more and yeah now i just want to talk a little about as uh, hema ji has already said that uh, how this painting got originated i feel very proud that i am a bihari and i'm from bihar and i can share that story that first uh, evidence we found from the you know the marriage of goddess sita when king janak ordered the whole uh, you know citizen of that kingdom that please can you please decorate the whole kingdom but at the same time ladies of the house they wanted to do something for their princess and uh, in olden days ladies were not allowed to go outside of the house but they wanted to do something so do you know what they have done they have just taken things from their kitchen and whatever available in their house like green uh, color came from the leaves red color with the hot red chili powder yellow with turmeric powder and they have created they thought that maybe we can't go outside but we can decorate our outer wall so when the marriage procession will go through these streets people will see this 
and that will be a great contribution and that's where this madhubani art started oh thank you very much yes i know manjri that you are a proud bihari too isn't it so first time it started from there and now you can see so proudly i can see i am a bihari and this is an art form which got originated by a, a, a bunch of women so this is women based art and it's getting passed on generation and generation so when i was a small as i was born in that reason my dad also wanted me to learn but you know as being a small child i was learning but that time i didn't get the importance of this beauty what i was getting that time but today i feel very proud that i know this madhubani art so again uh, there is some people say why this is madhubani art and the same painting is known as mithila art so madhubani is the name of uh, that district where this uh, art got evolved madhubani has nothing to do with this art form that's the name of that village madhu plus bani madhu is a hindi word for honey and bani is for jungle forest so that area was full of uh, you know trees and all those so it was like forest full of honey was madhubani and the whole area it's not like that one village or one district was uh, the whole area was known as mithilanchal because the king uh, was uh, king of mithila was janak and uh, the whole kingdom was mithilanchal and that's why it's also known as mithila art so madhubani art mithila art is not uh, uh, two different thing both are same but the name is like some people call it uh, madhubani art and some people call it in uh, mithila art and it's not like only in himalayas part also there is a little part in nepal too they have also this beauty of mithila art yes now lots of people get confused that uh, even if you will search on google i feel sometime i feel upset then when I, as being an artist when i search something i feel that people are watching kalamkari as madhubani art it's not like kalamkari is also a very nice form of art but both are different that's a kind of mogal art it's also a form of uh, mural art both got like even uh, madhubani art uh, first uh, earlier it was done on uh, you know freshly plastered mud wall and now slowly it got transferred on as i have shown that i have transferred on clothes on wooden plates on canvases on lamp shades but earlier it was a mural art or in hindi it was known as bhitti chitra but again there was two kind one was bhitti chitra which was made on the wall the second one is aripan very less people know about this it was a kind of rangoli you can see which you, we used to make on the ground that's known as aripan in any festival or any you know if you are uh, conducting any puja at your home we make that and for every different puja or every festival we have a different kind of aripan that's also madhubani art but less people know about that anyway the, i will not go in that but if anyone oh thank you very much manjri that you are saying that i am describing it good i am trying my best i don't know whether i can do it or not but i always try to share my whatever i know so now i want to show something that how it uh, go on the paper it's not like sometime in different art form you must have seen that people are just first you are tracing the design and then you are going but in madhubani it's a traditional folk art but at the same time it is done with free hand it's not like that first you will uh, use a tracing paper or uh, you will trace it and it's based on themes if you know the theme it's good and i always suggest my student or anyone who work with me that first go with the story if you are not knowing it doesn't make because maybe some symbols if you know the meaning then you will understand that why it is there like the first painting i have shown that's a kohwar 
Kova is a mural art which uh, we use in nuptial room. It has lots of beautiful symbol like lotus, fishes, snake, uh, bamboo tree. You know why we use that? These all are symbol of fertility. So it's a kind of blessing we give to the newlywed couple that okay, you will make a nice and big family. Yeah, it's another thing that um, now people don't want a big family like 10 to 15 kids. But the concept was that. So now I will uh, show you some of my brushes, what we use for uh, my painting. So earlier, as I told that we use different form. It was uh, home based. So like you can see this earlier, we used to make our nibs using, uh, you know, thin bamboo stems. And we used to sharpen it with blade and then we were using. But now in market, you can get this kind of nib. That's uh, uh, come with the name of Madhubani nib. I think you can see, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Shambhavi. I think I'm teaching you a little Madhubani art too. So I have different kind of nibs you can see here. Like... Uh, for fine details, I use this fine nib. For uh, long and thick lines, I use this thick one. Okay. And on the same time, it's not like... Uh, uh, generally, I buy all these things from Bihar. But if it's not available here, I use brushes. Even you can do Madhubani with brushes. But it is fine tip brushes. You can see here, I think... Uh, can you see this brush? So... It's like, it's round brush, but very fine. Uh, like you can see, it, the, I can uh, read the number for you. It's one, three by zero. And the chisel, you can see the, see the tip of the brush. And what we do, when we make painting, we use our brush like this. We don't, because it's not like a normal painting. It's like how we write. Sometimes even uh, in uh, native language, it's not like that you are painting Madhubani. They say that we are writing Madhubani. Ki Madhubani likhai chiai. So it's not like, uh, this is a uh, very simple and interesting facts because when even I was small, I was thinking that how can you write a painting? But when I started, then I realized that it's not like that you are taking a big brush and you are painting that thing. It's like you have to fill all the gaps with lines, repeated patterns. So that's why we say that no, we are not painting. We are writing that. We are creating it. So this is, these are all the brushes what I have shown. Even now like for big dots, sometimes I use uh, cotton buds. And uh, even... Uh, like to just uh, make all the thing. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Manjari. All the dots similar. I use some solid things too. Like back of the pencil. Now, maybe you, um, you, maybe you are thinking that how to use nib. And it's like, uh, if you have seen any Madhubani painting, it's not about how uniform or how beautifully it is done. The best thing to know that whether it is done by hand or not. If it is done by hand, it's not similar. Even today, even I will say, if I will make any replica of my own painting, it's not similar. Because it's not like that I'm copying. Every time I make, I'm making a new one, so it can't, it can't be same. So I will show you a little that how I use my knit. So in this you can see, I generally I bring all my paints from India. Yes, we can do on glass, but for glass I use different paint, the same technique, but not with the nib. We use this kind of brushes as uh, I have shown you on my vases and I will bring one for you. Um, the black one, um, my vase. So you can see on that I use glass painting, but the same time I don't use this kind of nib. I use brushes for that. 
and okay let me show you uh, this is the answer of your question Leelawati this uh, you can see it is a glass uh, uh, flower vase on this I have jam and this is done by brush okay because I have uh, told you earlier that this is a free hand art. So it doesn't uh, make any difference that uh, it's not about whether you have done the nose perfectly, you have done, but you must have seen that uh, we make uh, side faces. Because you know, the parameter of beauty in India, we believe that sharp nose, unfortunately I don't have, sharp nose and big eyes, just to show the sharpness of nose, we use, we use side faces in our painting. So I can show you like see how I have just dipped my brush in uh, the paint. And now you can, I will show you on my face. Uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to show you how I do. Can you see? And just maybe first time you will enjoy that this is the olden way how we write, isn't it? Now we have pen and all those, but earlier we were doing with this. So this is the way how I create my designs first. And it's not visible here. So I think you can see here on the on my paper that this is the nape, this is my paint and how it's going on this. Can you see the shape I made with this? And then I make all the designs. It's look like that you have done with some, uh, but no, I always use my nips because I'm uh, pretty much uh, friendly with uh, these nips. So I make my design using uh, nips first and then for like different kind of uh, pattern, I use different kind of brushes. Like even I can show you that I can do with this brush too. I think you can see. And I, I only use the chisel. Then it will look like that uh, you have written. Otherwise it will be like maybe. Is it clear now? Yeah. And every painting, uh, like when we are creating any Madhubani painting, a boundary is something we always make, a border. Like at home, what we believe that if you have a house, you should make a boundary. So that's why uh, you must have seen whether it's a small painting or a big painting, there is a border. So it's like we always treat our painting like uh, our own uh, story. And every Madhubani art, it has a story. Uh, thank you very much. Archana Kumar says my sis too and my classmate and my best friend I can say thank you very much about that. I'm so happy to see that you all are watching and uh, want to know about this. So I can show you even there, I quickly I want to share that the kind of painting. Basically, we believe uh, earlier paintings were based on uh, caste system in India. If you know that uh, like uh, upper caste people can work on this kind of painting, lower caste people were not allowed to touch those kind of painting. But now things are not like that. Now anyone can work on anyone. So according to that caste system, there was five kinds of painting. First was Bharni. Bharni was for upper caste ladies. We are working on that. On which they can use solid color to make a, uh, like to color their painting. Like you can see on this, this kind of thing. This is uh, an effect of Bharni. Second painting was Kanchani. In Kanchani, all details. We have to do with fine lines, repeated pattern or anything, but we don't use any. Oh, thank you very much, Santos. I'm so happy to see you here. 
so in kanjani we we don't use any solid painting all small or big part should be covered with the repeated pattern whether it is a fine line cross line anything second thing this is the second kind third kind of painting was tantric it was practiced by you know the priests special kind of priest who used to do tantra puja like mahakali mahalakshmi and mahasaraswati was the main character for uh, that tantric uh, kind of uh, madhubani art fourth was kohwar kohwar uh, luckily kohwar uh, doesn't go in those kind of thing because even in brahmin family on marriage they make kohwar and even in small families also they used to make kohwar and the fourth kind of painting was was speciality only for the small caste earlier that was godna that was a kind of uh, you know tattoo they used to do on your hand with black ink so basically what i believe the, and uh, if you know about madhubani art there are basically and mainly five kind of paintings in madhubani art that is bharani kanchani tantric kohwar and the fifth one is godna nowadays oh thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much varsha you are saying lovely artist too i am so honored that you are saying me and it's so pleasure to meet you all here and uh, i think the time is up now it's 8:33 and um, i think this session was only for 8:30 it's so lovely to meet you all and hopefully later again we will meet and uh, here i am doing like uh, i practice my art like uh, paintings i make on orders too and it's so nice to meet you all and i'm so happy to watch you all live here that you all are watching me and you are appreciating thank you very much have a good evening who are in india and uh, good night who are in <laughs> austria okay thank you hema ji you are saying not to worry about time i'm so happy that you have given me this leverage of time <laughs> so here i'm really very happy and i work here earlier when i came here and i settled myself as an artist earlier i thought i don't know whether i will get a good fan follower here or not but today i feel very happy about that and as himaji all uh, told you i will show you some of my work this one uh, like a bookmark project i uh, a uh, lots of artists were invited and only five paintings got selected and one of uh, it was mine it was available in all the city library of nsw and second one is uh, jean west art award it uh, was uh, in 2017 uh, one of my painting was uh, part of uh, this uh, jean west 2017 and the third when i was talking about and uh, my big painting in fact it was really hard to bring it uh, here because it is on my wall and it is my precious painting uh, which got the refugee art award and here i can show you one of my painting which got uh, kappa award that's cumberland art and photography award you can see here the title is gramin mahilai so when i found that of people were happy and even when i work with the multicultural new south wales and i found that people are uh, eager and desires to know about art work and this traditional art form i feel very honored that i am a way i am a medium to share with you all my work and uh, yeah thank you very much kavita thank you manjri so this is and if you want to know more like itself we can work on cotton cotton is the best where we work but you can go on silk too but yeah with on silk it's a simple tips that never try uh nibs on silk maybe you yeah you will be a little bit disappointed so never use uh, madhubani nib on your precious silk sari as i have shown that i have done on kanjivaram but i have used 0.3 brushes 
so you can use any brush on your sari go on dress sari any medium work on that and make it madhubani and make you feel proud that you have a beautiful art form from bihar so this is the love from anamika from sydney to you all thank you very much bye bye good night hi ladies i'm back normally i don't i just turn off my heat it's just making so much noise hi there who is there thank you namika so much it was so nice ladies just give some honest feedback as to what you are feeling about the wholesome wednesday sessions and it was so beautiful to see anamika in her beautiful sari which i did not mention about her sari it uh, it's her own painting as well it's the madhubani uh, painting which she has done on her beautiful purple colored sari um i'll be posting that tonight um thank you so much please do pass your comments and any suggestions if you have it would be good to know if i need to make any changes with the time or something i'll try and do but this is the best time um which i can come up with considering um matching with both the countries since we are on a different uh, um uh what do you call like the different side of the globe so this would be very helpful for us to know or for me to know so that whatever i have lined up for the next 6 months um i just want to make sure that it all gets tallied and um presented properly and in a very nice way which you guys would enjoy all right signing off thank you so much for coming in and see you guys next wednesday bye for now